Neil Hunter here with Hunters Outdoors. Uh, some of you have, may have seen my auger comparisons where I'm comparing a cordless drill attached to a hand auger and comparing it with some gas augers. And uh, I've had an awful lot of questions come about because of that. So I thought I would talk a little bit about what I did and, and why it seems to work okay for me when others have had marginal success. First of all, I want to talk about the drill. This drill that I have is a rigid drill. It's an 18 volt and from what I understand it is the highest rated 18 volt drill that there is. This drill puts out about 565 inch pounds of torque. I don't know where it came from. I read somewhere that in order to turn an auger with a cordless drill it takes a minimum of 550 inch pounds of torque to do that and I know that a lot of the 18 volt cordless drills don't have that much. I don't know where that number came from. I just know I read it somewhere and it's, I would have to say it seems to hold true. Uh, you need to make sure that if you're going to use a cordless drill on your hand auger that you have enough drill to handle the job. There are more powerful drills in uh, 24 volt or I know Bosch makes a 36 volt that will definitely handle the job. Um, not too sure about the 24 volts. The research I've done and when I've been looking I haven't found a 24 volt yet that, that would do it. There probably is one or more out there, I just haven't found it yet. Now Bosch does make a 36 volt that I know will handle the job. In fact, uh, I've, I've seen it in several videos and it works well, but that drill is around 500 bucks, I think. And uh, you can get this one for a lot less than that. And the only reason I use this one is because it's what I already had. Now I want to talk about the auger for a minute. This particular auger is a Strikemaster Mora. It's a 7 inch. It's got a 7 inch blade system on it. It is all that this drill can handle, in my opinion. If I tried to put an 8 on there, I think I would burn up my drill. Uh, I believe that the auger brand is very important when using this system. I've seen lots of augers over the years, and some of them are very marginal in, far, in how they work and uh, some of them even with new blades just don't cut and it, I think it's really important that you get the right brand now I'm not saying Strike Master is, is the only brand that will work but I know that the Strike Master Mora in a 7 inch or less will work with this drill system and it works well the other, another one that I believe would work quite well is also made by Strike Master that's the laser I have no experience with it but I believe it would work again make sure that you get 7 inch or less also, the Nils auger will, uh, I believe, will, will do a good job with this. My experience with them has been very good. I think they uh, can handle the job. But again, I would stay 7 inches or less for this type of a system. Okay, I want to talk just briefly about the handle that I made. And what I did is I, I had an old handle that had a broken top on it. And Strikemaster wouldn't sell me just a top for the handle. I had to buy a whole new handle. So I had a spare handle just sitting around and I took the handle and I cut it off. I stuck it down in the in the auger. Move forward here. I stuck it down inside the auger, attached it with the screw, and then cut it off a little bit above the auger. I actually I cut it off right up here. <clears throat> so I gave myself some room for air. In this end, I stuck a single bolt that fit fairly snugly inside and I welded it on, in two places on the sides. Then I took another bolt and stacked it on top of that first bolt uh, head to head and welded it around. So now this is where I'm going to attach my drill and this is a little bit tricky in that you have to have these two bolts lined up and you have to have it all lined up with the shaft. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, it does need to be fairly well aligned. Okay, I want to talk about this part right here for a minute. Uh, my original version of this just had uh, two solid pieces of steel rod welded to the shaft. And the purpose of this is to catch the auger and keep it from dropping down the hole should the drill come undone should I drop the the whole system including the drill it potentially could go down the hole and this is supposed to keep it from going down the hole 
Now, the first one that I had, that I made, rather, I had two solid pieces here, and that worked okay, except I, I viewed it as being very dangerous because as this thing would spin around, they were rigid. It would sometimes catch on my clothes and tear at my clothes, and it could potentially have hurt me as well if it if it hit in it could have even dug into my skin or something potentially I suppose the solid metal rods one of them ended up breaking because it did catch on my clothes so then I only had one and so I decided I needed a better system so what I did is I welded a flat washer on the shaft it was fairly snug to the shaft and I welded it on flat then I took a big nut the center of this unit is just a big nut that fits easily over the shaft and spins freely. I set that over and then I welded another washer up above it all the way around and made it relatively flat. Now on this nut in the middle that can pivot, I took two more bolts, put them head, head up against this big nut on both sides and welded those down so that I have about a nine inch uh, safety catch at the hole for a seven inch hole this should never fall down the hole this way and there's another advantage to doing this instead of the rigid system like I originally had with the rigid system to keep it from catching on my clothes I would have to stick my arms quite a ways out in front of me let me attach the drill and show you what I mean So with the original system, I would have to put my arms way out in front of me like this and use both handles. And that put a lot of torque way up here on my shoulders, way out in front of me. And it made it hard to do. It was doable, but it made it hard. And to make it easier, I would step inside and then this would catch on my clothes. So now, with this thing that's been free, I can get right in here and hold it right up tight against my body like this back up and see if you can see it. I can get it right in here and hold it right up tight against my body like this and run it. And I don't have to worry about this catching in my clothes because it just free floats. And uh, this system seems to work out really well. The only other issue I've had is that this keyless chuck will have a tendency to come loose sometimes. And I've almost lost the drill a couple of times off of the auger. But I never have lost it completely, and I just make a habit of checking this. Now that I've told you about the system that I made, it probably should, uh, I probably should tell you that you can buy a system already made that's much better than this in a lot of ways, in that it attaches right in here, it's pre-manufactured, it's really short, your drill will attach right up to it, it's made to fit in a drill chuck, but then in addition to that, it uses a bungee system and what you do is you run a bungee cord from the adapter up around your drill so that if it does come unhooked it won't fall down the bungee will catch it I personally think this is a better system because I don't have to rely on a bungee which could break now this could break too but I think this is a lot stronger than a bungee and uh, well it's my own design so I think it's better anyway uh, I certainly don't want to badmouth the one that's already on the market out there because I, I've looked at it a little bit and I'm sure it's a really good system. I just don't have any experience with it. It's too cheap to buy the one that was already made and uh, until I knew that it would work and now that I know that it works, well this one works just fine and I see no need to buy the other. Anyway, this is Neil Hunter with Hunters Outdoors. Thanks for watching and God bless.